Welcome to Fastback 20 Helps. This is using and creating image strips. Some presentations need that extra touch, your personal image strip. Well, the first selection on your LCD panel is the image strip. Select it by pushing the green button and you'll see that it says image strip right on the screen. You're ready to bind. You can use pre-made and designed image strips or you can create your own. At newimageblank.powas.com, you'll see step-by-step -step just how you can build your own image strips. Once you've selected the size that you want, you can go right to an image bank. Different colors, different styles, and different designs, and ranging from simple to intricate. Simply click on the background style that you want, it will pop right into this window, and with it, you can customize it. You can add your own picture, or logo, or background imagery. And once it's uploaded, you can manipulate it right here with simple features. And when you're done creating, and you like what you see, add it to cart, and you can approve it right here. Be sure to continue to save your project as you go. Say you want to add some more, like change the text. You know, maybe some text on there you can simply click on and update with whatever you want. You can change the size of it, the font of it, the color of it, and how much emphasis you want it to have. And you can see the changes take place right there on the screen in front of you. And again, approve it, save it, add it to cart, and it will be sent to you in a PDF form. When you buy the Powis Parker Image Strip blanks, they come in in sets of three, three blanks on one sheet of paper. You can design all three of them to be the same design, or you can design two or three different designs on one sheet so that each strip comes out just a little different, and altogether saving you time and money. It's all done with the same simple click, drag, and drop format. You click it, you save it, you approve it, you proceed to checkout, and it's all free. You're given the PDF file, and from that, you can print it yourself on an inkjet or laser printer. And now your whole fastback experience has been made that much better with custom imagery on the spine. After printing, you simply remove the strip right from the paper and use it as normal. You'll want to note that when using a fastback image strip, you want to make sure that your project is facing backwards before you put the strip in. That way, the correct side of the strip is on the front side of your book. Once you've ordered the image strip blanks, you'll see that all the instructions are included and the website will take you through step by step. Just imagine the possibilities of you taking your great presentation and making it that much greater. You look good with the Fastback 20. For more demos, reviews, and how-tos, check out mybinding.com.